I just feel a little bit like that creepy uncle from uh, Napoleon Dynamite with the, with the football. <laughs> Every time I do this, starting the cameras. All right, so this thing was not really dry firing very well. I have to push the trigger forward each time or cock the hammer manually. The trigger is not returning very well, but let's see how it goes. You see how I have to push the trigger forward? I thought that was... <clears throat> there it goes. Oh, one more. Okay, I was eventually able to make all of them fire, but <laughs> that's not a super confidence inspiring. However, after blasting some of that stuff around in here, maybe, maybe it'll run the next five a little bit better. Let's give it a shot. you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me hard. Fuck me. I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me hard. All right. Well, that shit's out of the way. <laughs> See if we can I think that was all of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was interesting. So this thing's a real, literally. All right, so literally, this thing's kind of a pain in the ass to shoot.
Or wait, no, not literally, because that'd be... All right, so literally, this thing is a pain to shoot. It, like, it hurts my hand quite quite a lot because, you know, it's a very light gun shooting a pretty heavy bullet, and there's nothing in the action to soak up any of that. So even a fairly experienced shooter is going to shoot more slowly and deliberately, and it's harder to get off rapid controlled pairs with it kind of sort of works but the whole revolvers are super reliable thing no matter what bullshit an automatic ran right through all of the sand and shit and yeah sure fine there are and yeah sure fine there are a lot of other conditions we could test we could do the in range Ian and Carl mud test on them and maybe the revolver would do better or the auto would do equally bad or who knows there I'm sure there are conditions in which the revolver is more reliable than the automatic but at least as far as just carrying it around lint and crud and stuff they're both gonna run just fine and as far as like getting it good and dirty, like maybe, I don't know, it, it fell out of your pack while you were hiking or something and it, and it got a fair amount of sand in it, the revolver's probably not going to run as well as the automatic. It just has so much less little spaces between the parts that it's a lot easier for it to get literally jammed up. <laughs> Uh, and of course, you know, maybe a shrouded hammer, double action only revolver might have done better or all sorts of other variables. But the bottom line is that the the myth that revolvers are always more reliable than automatics, busted. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you found it entertaining or perhaps maybe even informative for some reason, please consider supporting our sponsors. Ventura Ammunition provided all of the ammo that was used in this test, and we grac Ventura Ammunition provided all of the ammo that was used in this test, and we are grateful for their support and for your support as well. Ventura Ammunition Ventura Ammunition Ventura Munitions Wow, I suck at this. Ventura Munitions graciously provided all of the ammunition that I used in this test, and we are grateful for their support. We're grateful for your support as well, and in this current environment where YouTube is trying to silence people with our point of view, your support matters more than it ever did. Please consider supporting our sponsors, as well as, of course, liking, sharing, subscribing, and all of those sort of engagement factors that help show YouTube what sort of content you like to watch. Have a great day.